we have the answers then to the questions on health, fitness and well-being and sedentary lifestyle. So the first question was take taking part in physical activity, exercise and sport is essential for health and well-being. Define mental health. Now, this is quite a tricky question. Um, it's uh, very subjective. So you could say in a number of different things to define mental health, really. And if we notice this bit down the bottom, accept any other suitable definition of mental health. Um, so it's up to the examiner looking at your answer um, to decide if it is a suitable definition. But the one they give as an example is a state of well-being in which every individual realises their own potential, can cope with normal stresses of life and can work productively and fruitfully and is able to make a contribution to their community. So that's a really wordy answer and you definitely wouldn't need to put all of that. If you've mentioned about being able to cope with the normal stresses of life or perhaps being stable, happy, comfortable um, and, and being happy within, within your well-being as well, if you put anything along those lines, then I'm sure you would get the mark for that one. State two positive effects that being physically active can have on mental health. So two mark questions, so one mark for each answer, and there's quite a few answers to choose from. We could have said that exercise increases our confidence, which helps our mental health, it improves self-esteem, it reduces stress. We could have linked um, that to catharsis, the reduction in stress from taking part in sport, release tension, um, lower the chances of suffering from depression, the release of feel-good hormones such as serotonin in the brain when we when we exercise and this makes us feel happy um, or that exercise helps us to control our emotions or our anger. State two negative effects that obesity could have on an individual's social health. So our social health of this one and two marks again. So being obese uh, could affect your social health because it could mean that you have an inability to leave home um, as you feel ashamed of your body or that you physically find it difficult because you're obese to actually leave your home physically. Um, it could also mean that um, you have an inability to socialise or make friends. Um, and I would put one more in. If you've said there's also um, you might lose friendships um, because you find it difficult to leave the home, for example, or you find it hard to maintain friends because of your obesity. And that would be um, worthy of a mark as well. Outline three benefits of taking part in physical activity and sport to an individual's physical health and well-being. Um, and again, a number of answers to choose from. Three marks here. So we're looking for three different benefits. Um, we could have said that taking part in physical activity improves heart function. So um, it's more efficient for exercise, uh, improves efficiency of the body system. So we're able to exercise for longer or are able to exercise at a more intense level or a harder level for longer. It reduces the risk of some illnesses. So more able to carry out exercise um, and illnesses could be, we, we might have given an example of uh, heart disease, coronary heart disease, diabetes, able to do everyday tasks more efficiently. So less likely to become tired or fatigued. And we could have said um, you, it, it, exercise can help you to avoid obesity. So you're less likely to suffer speed loss um, or development of further disease. Which one of these somatotypes is most suited to the high jump? So ectomorph, endomorph or mesomorph? The answer is going to be A, ectomorph. So ectomorphs are usually tall and, and thin and that, that's the body type which would suit a high jumper. Endomorphs are, are short and dumpy and mesomorphs are strong and powerful. State two negative effects that obesity could have on an individual's mental health. Um, and it's some similar answers coming up to as, as some of the other questions on mental health. So obesity, how's that going to affect your mental health? You could become depressed um, as a result of being obese and overweight. You could lose confidence. You could become self-conscious. Um, you could become more anxious. You could become stressed. Um, and you could also say again that... Um, you could your self-esteem could definitely be lowered as a result of that as well. So any of those answers are worthy of a of one mark each. One possible consequence of a sedentary lifestyle is obesity. Identify two other consequences 
of a sedentary lifestyle. Um, and they've given a, a few answers um, here as examples. But again, there's quite a large range that you could give. So a sedentary lifestyle could lead, lead to heart disease. If you said coronary heart disease, that's fine. Um, it could lead to diabetes. It could lead to poor self-esteem. But again, it could lead to a, a loss of confidence. It could lead to uh, lower muscle tone, if we think physically. Um, it could lead to depression, if we think um, about our mental health. So there's a large range of answers again, but you, you could have given to get the marks for this one.